the things I wish I'd known before I had my surgery. Join me in this video so you can learn what I wished I'd known before I had my surgery. Hello and welcome to Gastric Sleeve Pal. My name is Anne-Marie and I have a vertical sleeve. I had my surgery here in Turkey in March 2018. That's now two and a half years since I've had my surgery. I've been at my goal weight consistently now for 18 months. I wished I'd known that it was so easy to go ahead and have surgery. I thought it was going to be a very complicated process. Number one, I had to be much heavier than my 14 and a half stone at the time. I was 94 kilos. I really thought that they were going to say, you know what, you can lose that on your own. We don't do people like you. So that's my biggest point. So I never dreamed that I would qualify for weight loss surgery. Number two, it was going to be affordable. I was self-paid, quite happy to do that. You know, I wasn't actually ill, I just wanted to be healthier and I wanted to be a regular sized person. That's it, I saw healthy and regular size. I was absolutely fed up of it all. So I really didn't think anyone was gonna be able to help me. And like you, I'm sure I'd tried everything. So I wished I'd known that I was able to self-pay. Next point. I really do wish I'd known it was going to be under, at the time that I had my surgery, £3,000, that's GB pounds. So to me, that was affordable because I'm worth it and I was thoroughly unhappy and miserable. Yes, I did have to save up, but it was that investment in my health and my self-care. So for me, it was a no-brainer and I really do wish that I'd known that I would qualify first of all that they would say yes number two that they would say yes this is the price I thought it would be for people that were much much heavier than me and had a lot more complicated health issues also I thought it was for people that had a fortune to spend I'm sorry but I really thought it was going to be more like 20 to 30 thousand pounds I just didn't realize so I'm making this video for you to let you know I don't know what it is in your country but in the country that I'm living in it is something where people do come to Turkey under the umbrella of medical tourism because really it's super helpful that you can talk to a doctor in some sort of capacity of being online and not cost you a fortune to speak to somebody via international lines. I wished I'd known that I was going to get down to nine stone four. My expectation was truly, even after I'd had the surgery, and I'm talking two to three months afterwards, Will I make the fact that they say I'll be about 60 kilos? That's what it's going to be. I honestly thought they were gaga. As lovely as everybody was, I just thought that won't happen to me. I'm, I'm sure I'll be one of those that, you know, I'm going to be stuck at 10 stone. That's the best I'll probably ever be. 11 stone, I'd have been happy. Um, but no, I wasn't 70 kilos and that's 11 stone. And I wasn't sitting there at 65 kilos either. I went down to 60 and the difference between 65 kilos and 60 is actually quite huge especially at my age I'm 55 and you know that's really important that I can actually feel that I'm at this goal weight and it was possible and I didn't honestly didn't realize that I wouldn't be sick all the time I honestly thought right this is it I'm that miserable I hate being sick as a human being I'm going to be sick all the time, I'm going to be one of those people that I just have to put up with it. But I was that desperate, I thought to myself, just do it. And I really do have a bit of a fear about being sick, so I have to tell you, that was a big thing for me. And I just thought, no, this is it. Put that to one side. If you're sick, you're sick. And you'll just have to learn 
to work out what your triggers are. But I'm pleased to tell you, I'm hardly ever sick at all. The only thing that's ever made me sick is something that's slimy. And, you know, if you call uh, giving up chicken livers, which it has been in my case, something that's made me sick twice when I've had it, then, you know, it is what it is. Occasionally I've actually been sick because I feel that I've had something again that's just been a bit slimy, but I'm not, you regurgitate rather than you vomit. So I also wished I'd known that you regurgitate and don't vomit. I also wished that I knew that I wasn't going to be sick all the time because I would have been queuing up if I'd known A, it was as reasonably priced as it is, that I would be able to book it at my convenience. That was the other thing I wished I'd known. You know, can I have it done at X? So it was December, and it was November when I actually made the call and I said, please, may I have it done in January, immediately after Christmas, it'll give me time to do my research, get my head round it and save. And they said, absolutely. So I wished I'd known that it was like, I wasn't in a queue, I wasn't on a list, it wasn't at their convenience. And I also wished I'd known that the recovery time, which was literally for me, immediately. Why do I say that? Okay, I was tired, but I had naps, but I still worked for four hours. I worked while I was in hospital. I've got an online business, so I just took calls and did what I normally do. And that's because it was like, well, you know what? I've had a walk, I took four hours worth of calls, I'm off to do another walk, and I kept moving, and I kept working. And I was weary for that first six weeks, if I'm honest. I wished I'd known it was going to be like that. I wished I'd known I was going to have the energy that I've got. Truly, I can't tell you. And what do I mean? I used to be a person that honestly begged at least eight hours sleep. Nine was, was a luxury and I really did want nine, if I'm honest. Now I find that I'm on five hours sleep, the energy. And I have three businesses running at the moment. I used to struggle with six hours work in one day. Um, I'm now juggling three businesses, one of them being this. So there you go. And a lot goes into making a video. That's your research and, well, I don't need to tell you. So what else can I tell you about what I wished I'd known? I wished I'd known that I would change my body shape. I was always a curvy girl. Now I am straight up and down because everything's round about the 30 mark. I have 36 inch bust, 30 inch waist and 36 hips. I used to be at my absolute slimmest and I was 18 at the time. 36 bust and 28 waist and 40 hips. So there's a difference, isn't there? Now we're all different, but I just love that. I feel it gives me access to wearing a different type of wardrobe. I wish I'd known that I would love putting my makeup on again because I used to really feel that when I put my makeup on it was accenting everything that I was trying to make myself feel better with. It was just screaming, look at my fat face and my neck. So I wish I'd known that. Everyone said about hair loss. Yes, I have had hair loss. And so I did experience some hair loss, some around here, and it's growing back now beautifully, and around here, um, a tiny bit there. And so I just decided to have it cut shorter. And again, I was terrified of having my hair cut short. But you know why that was? I wish I'd known. I liked my hair longer because I felt it was covering everything up about my huge face and my ballooned neck. And if you look at my before and after photos, you will be able to see it was a balloon. That was the worst part for me. What else I wished I'd known? I thought I was going to have tons of loose skin, wrinkly, crepey, hanging skin. Nope. I have a little. I'm not perfect. But I'm also 55. How much exercise do I do to tone up? In truthfulness, the first year I was swimming every day through the summer and I was riding my bicycle, I counted and measured a lap and I was able to do 40 laps. 
because I've got so much more energy and decided to just go for different projects and different businesses, I've put that energy into my businesses and my projects and my investment of our future in the plans of businesses. So I have not exercised in the way that I was exercising back then. So I haven't done that kind of exercise since last September, which is actually nine months. So in that time, what exercise am I doing? I'm buzzing around like a bee and I do walk my dogs every day and we go for a long walk and I always did that. And that has even been cut short because I used to walk my dogs and they've got older and so they can't walk as far. And I did lose a couple of my dogs and so I used to do two walks, one with those that were active and fed and could really go and another one I'd come back and get and go for the second time and I'd take them along and so I was having two walks. So can you see I'm saying that my walk has been cut in half? So although I'm still walking, I'm not going at the pace because the dogs don't want to. It's hotter now, it's, it's June and they're a little older too. So I haven't got that form of exercise. So what I'm saying is I'm still maintaining. I haven't put a, a kilo on, I haven't put anything on. It's still the same. So isn't that amazing that you don't have to go to the gym? So I wish I'd known that. I don't have to exercise. I'm not a slave to it. I'm not calorie counting. And believe me, I'm not. I decided I was going to eat healthy, normal meals that I enjoy and that I would occasionally go out to eat in a restaurant and that would be our treat. And I didn't realise that we could go out to a restaurant. I didn't realise that I would still be able to eat normal food. I didn't realise that I would be able to eat everything, apart from chicken liver it is in my case, and that I wouldn't need to be eating like a bird. I didn't realise that people would not be looking at me. So these are the things I wished I'd known. I wished I'd known I could still go out to eat in a restaurant. I wished I'd known I could still eat Chinese and Indian and Mexican. That I could still have an alcoholic drink. Now obviously everybody's different, but in my case I can. I can drink a gin and ginger ale. I have not wanted to go back to a habit that I had four years ago. So that's way before my surgery, which was I used to drink a lot of Diet Coke or Coca-Cola, that was my downfall. And I weaned myself off that two years before I even had surgery. So four years I've gone, I'm not going back to that, I don't want it, it's just pure sugar. So that was something I gave up two years before my surgery, so I haven't gone back there. But I do have a mixer with uh, a shot such as vodka or gin or Bacardi or whatever. Um, it's, it's that. I don't drink beer, I don't drink cider, I don't like it. I can have a glass of wine. I make sure that I just do things differently. What do I do? I cook with olive oil. I don't calorie count. I wish I'd known that. I made a decision that if I have bread or rice or pasta or potatoes, I have it once in a blue moon. What's that? About once um, every three weeks, once every four weeks. And yes, I think it's important to have it because I don't want to avoid things, I want to be able to still touch those foods. I don't really like them anymore, but it is nice to have a spoonful of rice or so with an Indian. Most of the time I just have veg, mixed veg, and I cook it with garlic and olive oil in a sheet, in a cast iron dish, and I have a tiny amount. You've heard me talk about this before. I just wished I'd known that. I wished I'd known I was going to end up in UK sizes pretty much at 10. And if I'm honest, I'm even in size 8 jeans and size 6 jeans, depending on where they come from. I just wished I'd known that. I just did not think I thought I would end up a size 14 um, or 16. I'd have been happy with that. Um, not now, of course, but I didn't know. So these are the things I wished I'd known, that I can still eat what I enjoy. I would eat healthy, I wouldn't have to calorie count for the first time in my life, I'm not on a diet. And I mean that. And I am sensible, it's just that I make a choice that's healthy. For breakfast, I will probably have something like avocado or cheese and crackers and lots of salad. Or I will have an omelette, 
so I'm trying to get protein in. I'll even have leftovers from the night before. I wish I'd known that. I wish I'd known that life could make me so much happier and that I would have this energy and this vitality. I wish I'd known that I wasn't going to get loose skin. So what can I tell you? It's marvellous. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell so you can get more videos like this one in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.